the other thing we must have is the, the ability to get out and about. And I noticed the Victoria markets are back. Uh, I've noticed the South Melbourne markets are back. And again, social distancing, uh, a lot of security teams doing what they can to give people an idea of that, hey, you can't behave as you did before. Mm. You've got to think. Are you seeing that in all your travels? Well, look, there are some uh, interesting developments as a result of COVID. For example, yep. bicycle riding has gone up enormously. Oh, Our yeah. stats from November to April show bicycle riding is up 270%. Bicycle shops are doing really well. More parking spots are available <laughs> in the city too, by the way, if you want. <laughs> of course, you can always drive your car into the city. What we do know going forward, and certainly what we are uh, planning for, uh, what we're investigating and, and exploring, is that we've changed the way that we work. We've, we've gone back to basics in many ways, and, we, and we've changed the trends of things that we're interested in. You've mentioned kettles. Yes, correct. Uh, there's a lot of uh, DIY going on. Yeah. I almost didn't know what that was. I've never done it myself, but uh, you know, apparently Bunnings and Hardware stores are you going You did it yesterday. Do it well. yourself, DJ. Come on. Do it yourself. I did. Yeah. Uh, so we've seen some of these trends emerge, and we've seen lifestyles, work styles change yeah. as well. And so for us at the city, whether it's the market, whether it's hospitality, retail, all of the other little businesses uh, and big that are uh, across the city, and this is impacting everyone. This yeah, isn't yeah, yeah. just a little business issue. Big businesses are impacted as well. Is what does that future look like? How do we find ways to bring people into the city at numbers, if not ultimately more uh, in, in terms of bigger numbers yeah. than ever before, obviously once it's appropriate to do so. Yeah. We have our epic cultural institutions opening this weekend. We're talking about the libraries and some of the... Libraries, national galleries, museums. Obviously people will come in in smaller groups, there'll be social distancing, yeah, yeah. etc. Yeah, yeah. But the, the combination of all of those things still means as a city, what are we doing Throughout to the city, are all the public uh, toilets open and, and functioning? Yes, of course. Because and we saw clean. some of them close during yeah. that, the, the first lockdown. But I've got to say, one of the, one of the big success stories, if you, if you can have one, through COVID-19, has been this initiative that the Melbourne City Council came up with. The, the crews in your high res vests traveling around the city doing uh, enormous good will in one respect, but also doing what they could to clean the various areas. Now, some people have said, look, maybe they're not cleaning as well as they should, but you point out that they're, we're all learning. I remember a saying from my father that fishing is not always about catching fish. Uh -huh. Uh, cleaning the city is absolutely vital, but I think with these programs, uh, we have to recognise that there are so many benefits to them. Uh, of benefits. course, we will always try to improve the standard of uh, the cleaning methods and equipment, and I get a lot of that feedback. But the fact is, these are people that would otherwise be without work at all, or they'd be sitting at home and isolated, and they might be uh, receiving job seeker. They've chosen to get involved with our cleaning teams. We've offered that opportunity. They're connecting with others. They've got purpose. Uh, I see them every morning. They are walking out with pride and we thank them. We are grateful to them for the work. These are people that have been chefs or they worked in rec centres or they were front of house staff in our theatres. Uh, there are so many people that have found themselves without work as a result of lockdown. And they've chosen. And the fact that they've been motivated right. and they've come in and they've said, we're going to help the city uh, be cleaner. We are the eyes and ears. We provide reassurance as we walk around the city and we get that sense of team, mm. uh, connection, camaraderie. All of those things are absolutely fantastic. And we need to remember that uh, there are so many levels to what we're experiencing at the moment. And when we can tick as many of those boxes as possible, that is a winner. Okay. So yes, we can always keep improving the standards of cleaning, but let's remember that there are so many benefits to this Added program. Added benefits. Yeah. Okay, before we close uh, this particular interview, if there's a message for all your business uh, men and women in the city of Melbourne who are waiting for the day that some of the uh, easing of restrictions that we were promised will come about, what can you say to them? Mm. What, will you leave, what, can you, what can we leave them with this time around? Right, well, what am I going to leave you with, George, yeah, is that with. Melbourne uh, has always been a place where sparks fly when people come together. 
We are a gathering place. There are so many elements of our society that are better when people get together. I accept that we need to do that when it's appropriate. And even when we do, we have to have certain safeguards in place. But the fact is we are better as individuals, as organisations and as a city when we can get together. And so we would encourage people to make the most of those opportunities and to constantly be thinking about, yes, uh, you know, what does it mean for us as individuals? But actually, by getting together, we're making a huge contribution to something uh, that makes us better. Uh, and where I just think of the sparks that fly when mm. people get together and that's exactly what we want to get back to in this city is a place where sparks fly. I love that idea and I love that uh, analogy and, and I will know that Melbourne City is back and working when the RACV Club is available <laughs> and I can park anywhere I want. And the other thing is, the other thing is that our libraries and our, uh, our great uh, institutions, our great museums are open and give us a chance to visit them because you know that the city's buzzing and working. And then the final thing that we need to put in is to give our, uh, our uh, nightclub scene, which is one of the best in the country, if not around the world. Yeah. It excites people, we need to bring them back. And she said, the sparks will fly when that starts happening yeah. again. I wanna see you in the mosh pit, George. Oh no, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I stayed away from mosh pits when it was, you know, when it was uh, I fashionable. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. Uh, Come on in. It's great. Sally Cap, catch <laughs> you soon. <laughs>